Did you know that two 100 amp hour batteries can be either 100 amp hours or 200 amp hours, depending on how the battery bank is wired? In this video, we're going to talk about why. Welcome to Explorers.life. My name is Nate, and I teach people how to build DIY campers. Let's get started. So we have two 100 amp hour batteries right here operating at 12.8 volts. Whenever we wire batteries in parallel, which means positive to positive to the system and then negative to negative to the system, that means very much like solar panels, our amp hours get added together while our voltage remains the same. So these two batteries wired in parallel means that we have 200 amp hours of battery bank capacity at 12.8 volts. So now we have the exact same two batteries, each 100 amp hours, each 12.8 volts. So these are wired in series, which means that the neighboring batteries have their positive and negative batteries connected together. And then the battery bank positive and negative terminals are going on to power the system. So when batteries are wired in series like this, their voltages get added together and their amp hours remain the same. So that means that we have a nominal 24 volt battery bank and a 100 amp hour battery bank. So for actual voltage, for the sake of clarity here, So we have a 100 amp hour battery bank right here operating at 25.6 volts, which is effectively a nominal 24 volt battery bank. So which of these two battery banks has more capacity? Well, neither, neither has more capacity. They have the exact same amount of capacity, even though this is operating at 100 amp hours and this is operating at 200 amp hours. So let's talk about why. To best explain why, we need to use the formula amps times volts equals watts. Try that again. Times watts. And even more specifically, we can say amp hours times volts equals watt hours. So let's convert both of these battery banks to watt hours. So by using amp hours times volts equals watt hours, you can see that 200 amp hours times 12.8 volts equals 2.56 kilowatt hours or 2,560 watt hours. Same thing on the bottom, 100 amp hours times 25.6 volts is 2,560 watt hours. So it's the exact same battery bank capacity regardless of if it's being delivered at 12.8 volts or 25.6 volts. Let's pretend for a second this actually looks like a light bulb. And this light bulb is operating at 100 watts. So pretty powerful, let's call it a floodlight or something like that. So what is a watt hour? So let's say we have this 100 watt light bulb operating for one hour it is going to consume 100 watt hours worth of power. If it was two hours, it would be 200 watt hours of power. If it was three hours, 300 watt hours, so on and so forth. So we can use this formula to, deter to determine how much power is going to be used when a certain load is being powered by a certain number of hours. And we're gonna go back to one hour for easy figuring going forward. Now, how does this translate over into amp hours? So let's say that we have a 12, a 12 volt battery operating at 12.8 volts that is powering our 100 watt light. Let's say it's a 12 volt light as well, just to keep things simple. So we need to find out how many amps that is that's flowing along these two wires that's going to feed this light bulb. So we can use watts equals amps times volts to figure that out. So we have 100 watts divided by 12.8 volts 
equals 7.81 amps. So that means that there's 7.81 amps flowing along these two wires, which means that if we ran this light bulb for one hour, it would pull 7.81 amp hours out of this battery bank. If we ran it for two, two hours, it would pull 15.6 something like that. So it'd be 7.81 times two. Now, what if we were pulling this from a 24 volt battery bank? So if we had a 24 volt battery bank like we have here, 100 amp hours at 25.6 volts, powering our 100 watt light bulb right here, we can use watts equals amps times volts to see that 100 watts divided by 25.6 volts is 3.90 amps. So there would be 3.90 amps flowing from this battery bank to feed this light bulb, which is half of the 7.81 that we had earlier. So is this one pulling more power from the battery bank than this one? It's, it's not, it's actually pulling the exact same amount because it's still 100 watts. The 100 watts is just being delivered at a different voltage, which, which makes the amperage different. This is one of the reasons why a 24 volt battery bank is sometimes more advantageous or just running appliances at a higher voltage so that we can use smaller wires because the amperage is gonna be smaller when it's delivered at a higher voltage. That difference in voltage plays a huge part in system design and why you choose to use different voltages through different parts of the system design to power different loads. Let's clear that up. So we're gonna pretend this actually looks like a space heater, this actually looks like an inverter, and this actually looks like a battery, because that's what I attempted anyway. So, what happens when we're trying to power a 1200 watt space heater from a 12 volt battery bank? Well, if we were trying to power it directly without using an inverter, we would be sending our power, there's a single line here, to our 1200 watt space heater. And this shows that 1200 watts divided by 12.6 volts equals 95 amps. So we have 95 amps flowing at 12.6 volts to this 1200 watt space heater. Now, 1200 watt DC space heaters don't really exist, obviously, but this is for a example here. Now, what does exist are 120 volt space heaters that you would simply plug into the standard household outlet in your house. So we would want to run that from a, or through an inverter, which is a 12 volt to 120 volt inverter. And that inverter is taking the 12 volts that's on this side and converting it to 120 volts on this side. Now we're still pulling 1200 watts on both sides of the inverter. So this 1200 watts divided by 12 volts is that 95 amp figure that we had earlier, rounding a little bit there, of course. And then 1200 watts divided by 120 volts is 10 amps. So the amps are significantly smaller on this side of the inverter than on this side of the inverter because this power is now being delivered at 120 volts versus only 12 volts on this side. Understanding that, how much power is this 1200 watt space heater that's operating at 10 amps pulling from this 12.6 volt battery bank? Well, this sort of doesn't matter whenever we're talking about what's going on over here until you do that calculation to drop it back down. The amp hours coming from the battery bank need to be calculated based on what voltage the source of the power is coming from, which is the battery in this case, which is 12.6 volts. So if we left this space heater running for one hour, it's gonna consume 95 amps from this battery bank. If it was two hours, it would be, let's see, um, 180, 190 amps, 190 amp hours at 12 volts from this battery bank, which the 100, 100 amp hour battery bank completely depleted. But for the sake of example, that's what would happen. 
our key takeaways from all of this that we just talked about. Number one, amp hours used from a battery bank should always be calculated from the battery bank operating voltage. And number two, consider converting amp hours or amps to watts or watt hours for a more apples to apples comparison of power usage. And that about wraps up this video and I hope you learned something new. Now, if you wanna see some full system installation videos with both 12 and 24 volt systems, uh, check the video description below because we've done a few of them and I'll link them down there. See you next week.